Hey, I just wrote this, so. <clears throat> My girlfriend told me not to start off with this joke but I'm gonna do it anyways. Uh, when I'm making sweet love to my lady, I like to sing commercial jingles to me. Ooh, ah. Ooh, ah. Only a mattress giant, ooh, ah. <laughs> or, if I'm in a hurry, oh, 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 O'Reilly, oh, I don't know, parts. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I like the Bible. Just kidding. Uh, you, ever, you ever wonder? Uh, the other day I was like, you know, not reading the Bible, and I was like, man, I wonder how come women didn't write in the Bible? Like, why? You know, were they not capable of reading and writing back then? Because I know I have trouble with that today. <laughs> But I guess it's no. I think uh, I think God probably just didn't love him enough. I don't know. Maybe maybe a little bit of both. Oh really? I'm a writer. That's the end of it. Uh, this next joke is dedicated to Rich Williams. Uh, Tax-free weekend is my favorite non-Christian black holiday. <laughs> Because the murder rate is significantly lower than in any other black holiday. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I hate this joke, but I'm gonna tell it anyways. Um, the other day, I saw a homeless uh, homeless man wearing a "Don't Panic and Party On" shirt, and I was like, I don't, I don't even finish it. But I was gonna say something to the effect, like, you know, maybe it's time to start panicking. <laughs> Thank you. Um, some of my arch nemesis include the body mass index quiz. <laughs> you know, I'm obese. Uh, <laughs> restaurants with drive-throughs in them. Restaurants with uh, Monopoly game pieces in them. <laughs> and. Uh, uh, any women that I'm trying to have sex with with high heels, uh, it, just never, it just never works out for me. I don't know. Yeah. How low this mic is now. <laughs> I'm not going to fix it. Uh, I've noticed that women and their daughters have special connections because usually they, their daughters are younger, prettier versions of themselves. Usually. <laughs> Sometimes they're just reminders of how ugly they've always been. <laughs> I love women. I get women. The ladies, the ladies, they love me. Uh, I worked at a restaurant for like seven years. Um, Cause I'm Mexican. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> but I noticed something. You, you never really see a swole Mexican. Um, if they're strong as shit, it's probably because they work in construction or they're a busser. Um, but Planet Fitness, $10 a month gym membership has changed all of that. Game changer. I'm still not going to that. It's too much money. Here's some more black jokes. Uh, when I think of fantasy football, uh, and I think of the people who fantasize about it, and the people who are being fantasized about. I always picture Leonardo DiCaprio from Django and Chain smoking a cigar and saying, hurry up and watch this Mandingo fight with me. I like to collect pubic hairs on my... I like, I like to go to... All right, I guess this is my lesson. I like to go to public restrooms and collect pubic hairs. Um, I like to collect them and then clone the person and then murder them for being so inconsiderate. Damn, I, sh I should have closed for the other one. Uh, okay, this is my last one for real. For real, for real. Uh, the other day, my... <laughs> it's kind of gay the way this joke started because my friend saw a really good-looking guy and like nothing about him really said gay, but then he looks at him, and then he looks at me, and he's like, "You think, uh, you think women hate re uh, really good-looking gay guys?" And I was like, "No, that's just one less dick that gotta suck." Thank you. <laughs> that's pretty good, huh? Yeah, that was a good, that was a good job. <laughs>
Beautiful ribbon, everybody. Give it up for him. Give it up for him.